It's time for class, but we're not hitting the books, we're hitting the bottle. It's Tequila 101, and class is now in session. We're seated upstairs at Carnival. I'm joined by Victor. He is a mixologist here at Carnival. Um, tell me what, what Tequila 101 is all about tonight. Well, Tequila 101 is about um, teaching our customers about tequilas, basically. Sometimes we tend to drink tequila, and we don't know what it's made out of it or what it's come from. Um, tequila 101 is talking about a little bit of history of tequila, what is it produced, what is the definition of tequila, what is the make out of it. And what is your experience with tequila and bartending in general? Well, I started working in the restaurant industry about 20 years ago, and I worked as a bartender for so many years in a Mexican restaurant. And believe it or not, I served so many margaritas made with Cuervo Gold, which is a mist of tequila, that I didn't know at that time that how bad the tequila was until I got introduced to more unique boutique tequilas that nowadays they become more demand of, uh, you know, um, all over the world, not just in Mexico. So uh, it's a big difference between 100% blue agave tequila versus the mistos that we used to drink. And I think the class about today is about teaching our customers, educating our customers about tequilas. I mean, it's different categories of tequila. You have blancos, mistos, añejos, reposados. Nowadays, you have extra añejos. Um, the tequila that people were drinking before, they had a really bad experience with, it was a misto. It's something that really you, you don't want to drink because it creates a really bad, bad hangover the next day. <laughs> so nowadays, I mean, people are using more about the true tequilas, which are made from 100% blue agave, and are, they need to be bottled and produced in Mexico. And uh, that's the best tequilas that we have nowadays in Mexico. We're standing here with Amira and RJ. Guys, what made you come out tonight to Tequila 101 class? We love it here. We come to all the classes. They offer margarita classes. We've been for mojitos, and just, we just have a great time every time. How is um, Victor as an instructor? Oh, he's fabulous. Yeah. He's so much fun. He's fabulous, and there's usually prizes at the end, like there's raffles, and uh, you can win some pretty cool stuff. I'm standing here with Liz Palmer. She is the manager and wine director here at Carnival. Uh, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. What goes into a night like tonight when uh, you have a big event like Tequila 101? Well, what's great is is that um, we do this for our staff all the time, and now we've started opening the classes where the education as well as the fun uh, gets passed on to the guest. And there's a lot of preparation. Uh, you know, we do the educational background for all of the guests to enjoy, as well as the setup um, and bringing in the product. One thing that's great at Carnival is like tequila tonight and wines is that people get to try spirits and vino, as we say, um, from different parts of the world that they may not be familiar with. What kind of response have you had with the various classes you have at Carnival? We've had great response. Um, the ones that are more interactive are the ones that fill up quickly, like our Mo Mojitos 101. Um, that's where people actually get to do their own muddling, put their own booze in, which uh, we have to, of course, monitor. Um, but those tend to be the most successful. And then, of course, our dinners. Um, you know, we do wine dinners as well as tequila dinners. And for a set price, you get four to five courses and get to have the full experience of a tequila or wine. Uh, how often do you have events, by the way? We at least have an event once a month, whether it's a class or a dinner. People can learn how to make caipirinhas, mojitos, margaritas, learn about tequila and wine, or come in for a dinner. So at least once a month. Always something to do at Carnival. Thank you so much, Liz. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've learned something tonight at Carnival's Tequila 101. For ChicagoThreeMedia.com, I'm Danielle Masterson.